So weekend uh, projects is something that I'm really big on. Uh, for me, it's a good way to take a break from what I do in my day-to-day -day job and build something the way I want instead of the way the client wants or you know, your boss or even your team lead that just won't let you have your way. So Friday night, I'm probably hacking on something. Uh, like the social network, but without the crazy uh, twin rower guys. So, next slide. So here's some stuff I've hacked on lately. Uh, I wrote a script to email me when a movie goes from the Netflix, where you have to have the DVD, to where you have, can watch it on your computer. It's like, hey, it's kind of neat. Why don't they have that button on the site? So I just wrote a Chrome extension that did that. Uh, a couple months ago, I went to a hackathon and I wrote a fantasy sports for Twitter app. So you, instead of drafting, you know, football players, you draft uh, Twitter celebrities and then you get points when they uh, hashtag and things like that. Uh, kind of silly, but I won like 500 bucks, so it was pretty cool. Uh, I'm hacking on this uh, WYSIWYG editor for Jekyll blogs. Uh, so Jekyll. Static Ruby site, I'm sure most people are aware. Uh, and that's where I host my blog on, on GitHub. But you can't edit the posts from the blog, so I'm writing this little JavaScript thing that uses the GitHub commit API to actually make a commit in the back and shove it into my repository. So just kind of some random fun things I've been working on. So I thought I'd define the taxonomy, uh, keeping with my anatomy theme of a weekend project. So I came up with three basic types of weekend projects. First, scratch an itch. Uh, if you find yourself asking, like, why doesn't this thing exist? Uh, well, you could make it, then it would exist. Uh, the other thing is I'm really lazy, so if I can automate something, I'm going to do it. Uh, this, this one, one year I volunteered to help uh, this, this group print up a bunch of maps for directions. There were a like food drive, so they were delivering the food to these people's houses. And uh, I, really, I realized that I could just write a script that called the MapQuest API, and I could just pass it the, the email that the person sent me that said, hey, print out the directions for these places, instead of typing them. Uh, so I was able to print out like 500 maps instead of like the 20 that they signed me. So that was kind of cool. Uh, recently, like last weekend, I made this thing, Indie Hackers API. Yeah, next slide. So, Miles has got this Indie Hackers calendar. Uh, I wanted to read that into this dashboard thing I'm making. And it's kind of hard to read a Google Calendar in your app. So I wrote this little wrapper that uh, turns it into a JSON feed. And I used Node, and then I just pushed it on Heroku. It took me like one afternoon, but it works, it's live, you can go ping it if you want, source code's here. Miles says it's okay, so uh, hopefully he won't change his mind. <laughs> Thumbs up from the back. Yeah. So another type of weekend project is if you just want to test drive some new technology. It's really easy to make a throwaway prototype. You know, you see something on Wednesday, it's all over Hacker News, you want to try it out. Why not this weekend? And you can do exploratory dev as well. So you can, it doesn't have to be limited to a new library or a new language. Uh, like I wanted to try TDD in an Android project, uh, which sounds a little silly, right? Like everyone's, everyone says, you can't test the GUI apps and the, the phone apps. But I wanted to try anyways. So next slide. So this, this took me two weekends to build. I made this little planning poker app, which is uh, this agile estimation thing where you give everyone this deck of cards that's got like prime uh, Fibonacci numbers on it, and then you say, hey, how long do you think this feature's going to take? And you, you know, throw out your cards. Uh, I always lose that deck of cards, so I said I'll just make a phone app that can hit up and down, and uh, they'll do it. So and we're giving this away like a conference at work, like some swag instead of a little you know, pen or something. Download this Android app. It's kind of neat. So I played around with uh, this library called RoboElectric and uh, Inkscape to try and pretend I'm a designer. <laughs> so source code here if you want to check that one out. Next. Uh, last, make something fun. 
you know, as developers, we have all the skills to make stuff that's really useful. Uh, these are the same skills to make something that's really pointless. So sometimes you just want to have fun, make some stupid little joke app. Uh, so I made one called Abe.Heroku. It's at, at Heroku it's called Abe. Next slide. This was a, an inside joke between me and some friends where everyone always uh, confuses their presidential facts, and Abraham Lincoln somehow is always the person that did everything. <laughs> so you go to this page, and it, it'll just tell you a fact. You know, Abraham Lincoln isn't he the president that wrote the Declaration of Independence? Uh, no, you're actually thinking of Thomas Jefferson. Abraham Lincoln didn't have sex with an intern. That was cool. So, just a stupid little one-page app, but I got to play around with Sinatra and uh, Dave Mongo from the back end, just because why not? Uh, so, I consider myself a bit of a weekend project veteran, so I thought I would share some specific tips with you guys. The most important thing I found is you have to manage scope. So, think weekend project. I set aside a whole weekend, that's 48 hours. Not really. I mean, if you're anything like me, you're probably going to sleep till noon on Saturday, uh, and then you're going to eat lunch, and then you're going to start coding for a couple hours, and then you're going to meet up with your friends, or you got family stuff to do. you got to take care of your kid if you're into that. <laughs> <laughs> so realistically, instead of 48, you really have four to eight hours. So it's important to set expectations on what you want to get out of the weekend. If your goal is just a one-off, you know, like my stupid Abraham Lincoln project, that's cool. Uh, if your goal is to turn this into a, an ongoing side project, or you know, you're starting your new uh, software as a service startup, uh, have different expectations, right? You're not going to be able to finish something that's going to take you 100 hours of coding in a weekend, uh, no matter how many reps you have. <laughs> and lastly, go for easy wins. So you can limit your scope to whatever you want, right? You're the boss of the project. So give yourself reachable goals so that you keep building that momentum. If you spend four hours coding something and it still doesn't do anything, probably gonna stop. Next. Uh, fail and throw it out. So these projects are meant to be kind of disposable, so you should treat them like that. Uh, even if you fail, you can still pick up tips and shortcuts for the next time. Like it might take you a whole day to get a domain registered and figure out your DNS records and all that stuff, but at least the next time you won't have to spend time. Um, fear of failing. So this is something that I'm really big on. Like if you're scared of failing, you're never going to start anything. So don't do that. My GitHub right here, I got 47 repositories, and I'd say like 46 of them are failed projects that I've abandoned. Uh, I'm cool with that, so you should be too. Once you get more than 47, then you're on your own. Uh, lastly, get stoked. So you build something cool. It's not really polished, it's not pretty, but you know, when you look back at it, you created something out of nothing but a bunch of bits. That's pretty awesome. And that's more than a lot of people can say. Yeah, next. So what now? Uh, stole this quote uh, from you know modern cinematograph cinematographic uh, great here the Matrix. You know, I think they studied that in film school, right? Uh, basically, sooner or later you're going to realize that there's a difference between knowing the path and walking the path. So what that basically means is there's a big difference between reading a blog post and actually sitting down and writing some code. You can't figure out how something really works. Uh, or claim to know that you can do it unless you actually have done it. So, next slide. So, my challenge to you guys, uh, sometime in the next month, year, uh, try and carve out a weekend on your calendar and try one of these things. Scratch an itch, test drive some new technology, or like I usually do, just make some. So. Crickets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome.